Toyota has just made a key move that few saw coming. With the appointment of Koji Sato as the new president, leaving behind his role at the helm of Lexus to take the reins of the entire group, many have once again pointed to Akio Toyota as largely responsible for the brand's cautious stance toward fully electric vehicles. For years, Toyota was criticized for not fully embracing the electric vehicle race while almost every other manufacturer was racing in the same direction. But while the world was focused on a single path, Toyota decided to make an unexpected move that forced the entire automotive industry to stop and take a second look. Now imagine this for a second. An engine that sounds, vibrates, and responds like that of a classic sports car. A power plant that delivers real thrust, mechanical character, and pure sensations, like those we associate with gasoline. But when you look at the exhaust, there's no smoke, no traditional gases, no visible residue. Just water vapor. At first glance, it seems like a contradiction, almost a technological provocation. However, this hydrogen combustion engine from Toyota is neither a distant concept nor an empty promise. It's already being tested under extreme conditions, lapping Japanese circuits and quietly challenging everything we thought we knew about what a zero-emissions vehicle means. This isn't just a headline-grabbing alternative experiment. It's a statement of principles. Toyota is making a bold bet on an idea many considered dead, that the internal combustion engine still has a future. Not as we knew it before, but adapted to a new type of energy. Instead of gasoline, this engine runs on hydrogen. And with that, the Japanese brand is proposing something radically different, not to destroy decades of engineering, but to evolve it. This is where the conversation gets really interesting. Most people have already heard of fuel cell vehicles, like the Toyota Mirai, where hydrogen reacts chemically with oxygen to generate electricity that then powers an electric motor. That system works like a power plant on wheels. But the approach to hydrogen combustion is completely different. Instead of producing electricity, the hydrogen is burned directly inside the engine. To achieve this, Toyota extensively modified the fuel, injection, and control systems, building upon architectures originally designed for gasoline engines. In other words, instead of replacing the entire mechanical assembly with an electric powertrain from scratch, Toyota decided to start with what already works and reinvent it from within. It's like taking a familiar engine, with its sound, response, and character, and giving it a new energetic identity. The result is neither quiet nor artificial. It's visceral, mechanical, and familiar, but with a completely different environmental footprint. At the heart of this transformation is a turbocharged 1.6-liter, three-cylinder engine, directly derived from the one used in the GR Corolla and GR Yaris. But it's not simply a matter of changing the fuel and turning the key. Engineers had to rethink multiple aspects of its internal workings. Hydrogen burns differently, has different thermal properties, and demands extreme precision in injection to maintain stability, power, and durability. Heat management, lubrication, and material strength also required new solutions, because hydrogen's behavior is unforgiving. All of this makes it clear that Toyota isn't improvising. It's exploring a parallel path that could be a game-changer for markets where electric infrastructure is still insufficient, for drivers who value the driving experience, and for an industry that perhaps rushed into a single solution. And what's most striking is that this story is only just beginning to take shape. Hydrogen burns much more aggressively than gasoline. Its combustion is faster and reaches considerably higher temperatures, requiring every component within the engine block to be prepared for a much higher level of stress than usual. We're talking about reinforced valves capable of withstanding extreme heat during extended cycles, oversized connecting rods designed to withstand much more intense combustion forces, and injection systems specifically created for the unique properties of hydrogen, which doesn't behave like any traditional fuel. There's no room for improvisation here, every part must be more precise, more resistant, and more reliable. What's fascinating about this approach is that hydrogen combustion occurs much faster than gasoline, resulting in immediate throttle response and a direct connection between driver and machine. Despite their excellent environmental performance, these engines don't sacrifice driving pleasure. The sound, vibrations, and mechanical character are still there, keeping alive the experience that many believe is incompatible with sustainability. Except for minimal traces of engine oil that burn during operation, something that also happens in conventional engines, the system generates no polluting emissions. Hydrogen combustion engines produce no carbon dioxide, completely redefining the conversation about performance and environmental responsibility. But this is where Toyota distinguishes itself from those who merely promise. The brand didn't simply develop this engine in a laboratory and present it at events. It decided to subject it to the most demanding environment possible, endurance racing. Since 2023, 
Toyota has participated in Japan's Super Taikyu Endurance Series with a hydrogen-powered GR Corolla, becoming the first vehicle in the world to compete using liquid hydrogen as fuel. This wasn't a marketing ploy. Every lap on the track functioned as a mobile laboratory, generating data that under normal conditions would have required years of testing. The results were surprising even to the engineers themselves. Over the course of a single championship season, Toyota managed to increase the hydrogen combustion engine's power by 24% and its torque by 33%, achieving a level of dynamic performance comparable to that of a traditional gasoline engine. Range also improved significantly, increasing by nearly 30%, while refueling time was drastically reduced from approximately 5 minutes to just 1 and a half minutes. All of this occurred in a single racing cycle, demonstrating the true speed at which this technology can evolve when pushed to its limits. And there's a detail that makes it even more impressive. The person behind the wheel evaluating these advancements wasn't just a test driver. Toyota Motor Corporation's president, Akio Toyota, actively participated as a driver under his racing name, getting first-hand involvement in the development of liquid hydrogen on the track. It wasn't about observing from an office, but about experiencing the car's behavior, identifying real problems, and accelerating solutions directly under extreme conditions. One of the most significant technological leaps came with the switch from gaseous to liquid hydrogen. Early prototypes used compressed hydrogen, a functional but limited solution in terms of range and packaging. By switching to liquid hydrogen, Toyota managed to double the range without increasing refueling time, which remained around a minute and a half. However, this advancement brought enormous challenges. Maintaining temperatures below minus 253 degrees Celsius during storage and refueling required the development of fuel pumps capable of operating in cryogenic environments, as well as solutions to prevent the natural evaporation of hydrogen. Even so, the benefits were undeniable. In just two months of development, Toyota managed to reduce the weight of the GR Corolla H2 concept by more than 50 kilograms, making the vehicle more agile and competitive on the track. But the real innovation lay in the design of the storage system. Because liquid hydrogen operates at lower pressures than gaseous hydrogen, it was possible to create tanks with custom shapes. Toyota adopted an oval design that made much better use of the available space, allowing for a capacity one and a half times greater compared to traditional cylindrical tanks. This seemingly simple detail demonstrates how every engineering decision can completely change the potential of an emerging technology. Doubling the volume of available hydrogen and extending the range compared to older compressed gaseous hydrogen systems wasn't just an incremental improvement, it was a structural shift. By adopting liquid hydrogen, Toyota completely eliminated the need for bulky equipment like compressors and pre-cooling systems that were previously indispensable. This has a direct and often overlooked consequence, refueling stations can be up to four times more compact than gaseous hydrogen stations, reducing costs, complexity, and urban impact. In terms of infrastructure, this detail brings the technology to real-world implementation much faster than many imagine. Now let's get straight to the point that really matters to any driver, performance. Is this for real, or is it just a clean experiment? The answer is clear. Toyota's hydrogen engine reaches power figures of up to 400 horsepower, putting it on par with the brand's most efficient and respected engines. We're not talking about a symbolic number designed solely to save fuel. We're talking about genuine performance, the kind you feel in your seat. And that faster hydrogen combustion translates into an immediate, direct, almost instinctive throttle response, creating a physical connection with the vehicle that electric systems simply can't replicate. On the track, these cars aren't just for show. They're for real competition. During the demanding 24-hour Fuji race using liquid hydrogen, the vehicle completed the race with only 25 pit stops, compared to the 41 stops required in 2022 when they were still using gaseous hydrogen. Furthermore, the average lap time was over 14. That's not theory, it's real-world evidence under extreme conditions that hydrogen combustion can sustain continuous performance under real-world pressure. The hydrogen-powered Corolla Cross concept brought to competition made it clear that the technology doesn't break down when pushed to its limits. But the big question remains, is this practical for everyday life? That's where the Corolla Cross Hydrogen concept comes in. For this project, engineers took the GR Corolla's 1.6-liter, three-cylinder turbocharged engine, combined it with high-pressure hydrogen direct injection technology developed in motorsports, incorporated tank packaging expertise from the Mirai, and created a vehicle capable of comfortably transporting five people and their luggage. It's not an empty prototype or a rolling laboratory. It's a functional family SUV that, by chance, runs on hydrogen instead of gasoline. 
The experience gained from countless race laps allowed for the fine-tuning of the injection system to deliver robust performance, while the tank technology, already proven in fuel cell vehicles, ensures the safe storage of hydrogen. Currently, this model is being evaluated through both real-world testing and digital development, including winter trials in northern Japan, where low temperatures present an additional challenge. According to Toyota, the project is approximately 40% of the way to potential commercialization. While its arrival on the road is not yet certain, its potential is already evident, especially in the automotive world and in markets seeking viable alternatives. Behind each of these advancements lies a vast array of engineering challenges that demanded novel solutions. For example, hydrogen combustion engines generate more internal moisture compared to conventional engines. To address this challenge, Toyota developed and patented improved crankcase ventilation systems with significantly more robust PCV valves, specifically designed to manage this excess moisture. It may seem like a minor detail, but controlling this variable is essential to ensuring long-term durability and reliability. Furthermore, the brand developed water-cooled hydrogen engine technology, incorporating strategically placed injection valves, dual injection timing, and advanced evaporation management systems. All of this forms a dynamic system that allows for the control of the higher temperatures inherent in hydrogen combustion while simultaneously unlocking high-performance applications. These are not minor adjustments. They are fundamental innovations designed from the ground up to address the unique characteristics of this fuel. Even the environmental aspects were analyzed with a fine-tooth comb, demonstrating that this is not an improvised solution or a passing fad, but a technological path built with depth, patience and a vision that goes far beyond what most of the market is willing to explore today. Toyota went even further by integrating carbon capture technologies directly into the vehicle itself. Taking advantage of the enormous volume of air entering the engine and the heat generated during operation, engineers incorporated devices capable of absorbing carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere. Specific systems were installed within the engine compartment, such as a CO2 absorption module located at the air filter intake and a separation mechanism that uses the heat from the engine oil to process the captured carbon. This is not just about reducing emissions, but about actively beginning to reverse the environmental impact while the vehicle is in motion, something that until recently seemed like science fiction. And while hydrogen combustion engines grab most of the headlines, Toyota hasn't stopped making progress on another equally strategic front. Fuel cell technology continues to evolve in parallel. In February 2025, the company officially unveiled its third-generation fuel cell system, developed specifically with the needs of the commercial sector in mind. This new system was designed to offer durability comparable to that of conventional diesel engines, with clear improvements in energy efficiency and a significant reduction in costs compared to previous generations. Furthermore, Toyota confirmed plans to expand into heavy-duty commercial vehicles, with a phased rollout in markets such as Japan, Europe, North America, and China after 2026. The improvements aren't superficial, they're profound. The new system's durability has doubled compared to the previous generation, reaching levels similar to traditional diesel engines, but with a design intended to minimize maintenance. The system's efficiency has also taken a significant leap, improving by 1.2 times compared to the previous version, which translates to approximately 20% more range. In commercial applications, where every minute of downtime represents lost revenue, these advancements aren't a luxury, they're an absolute necessity. The numbers back up this long-term commitment. Since launching the Mirai fuel cell vehicle in 2014, Toyota has sold approximately 28,000 units in more than 30 countries. And since 2019, the company has supplied more than 2,700 fuel cell systems to over 100 customers worldwide, for applications as diverse as buses, trains, and stationary power generators. This demonstrates that the technology not only exists but is already operating in real-world, demanding, and intensive environments. Then the inevitable question arises, why not focus solely on battery electric vehicles, if they are already available? Toyota's answer is direct and, at the same time, profoundly strategic. There is no single solution that works for everyone. The brand considers it risky to put all its eggs in one basket with a single technology. That's why it maintains its multipath approach, combining hybrids, plug-in hybrids, battery electric vehicles, and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Each region of the world has different infrastructure, different needs, and its own economic realities. For Toyota, the future of mobility is not built with a single answer, but with a complete ecosystem of solutions adapted to each context. Now let's put all this into practical perspective, away from the laboratory and theoretical discourse. 
refueling with hydrogen takes only a few minutes, a time very similar to filling a traditional gasoline tank. In contrast, even with fast chargers, battery electric vehicles can require hours to regain a comparable range. For commercial fleets, long-distance transport, and operations where every minute of downtime costs real money, that difference is not a minor detail, it's a decisive factor at the operational level. Time isn't just about convenience, it's about productivity. In addition to this, there is another key point that often goes unnoticed. Hydrogen technology does not depend on lithium, nickel, or rare earth elements, materials whose supply chain is increasingly complex, costly, and controversial from an environmental and geopolitical perspective. The extraction of these resources raises serious ecological and social concerns, as well as concentrating production in a few regions of the world. Hydrogen, on the other hand, opens the door to energy diversification that reduces this critical dependence. And here we find one of the most strategic aspects of this entire approach. Hydrogen combustion leverages much of the existing knowledge, machinery, and processes in the internal combustion engine industry. This means that the massive global engine manufacturing infrastructure, which has taken decades to build, doesn't become obsolete overnight. Instead of demolishing everything and starting from scratch, this technology allows for a gradual transition, reusing factories, assembly lines, suppliers, and highly skilled labor. From an industrial perspective, this completely changes the equation. But it's not all simple, and Toyota knows it. There's a challenge that can't be ignored, the refueling infrastructure. Today, hydrogen stations are still scarce, and in many regions, access to the fuel is difficult. You can develop the best vehicle in the world, but without refueling points, that product loses its practicality. This is undoubtedly one of the biggest obstacles to the mass adoption of hydrogen. However, the landscape is changing rapidly. The global hydrogen station market is growing at an accelerated pace. Projections indicate it will grow from approximately $500 million in 2024 to nearly $1.8 billion by 2030, with an annual growth rate of approximately 23.8%. This is not happening by chance. Governments, energy companies, and large corporations are investing aggressively, driven by public incentives and long-term decarbonization commitments. Furthermore, the advantage of liquid hydrogen comes into play again. Stations that operate using liquid hydrogen can be up to four times more compact than those using gaseous hydrogen, drastically reducing space requirements, construction costs, and urban barriers. In cities where land is expensive and limited, this difference can determine the system's actual viability. Toyota is already applying these ideas in concrete projects. At its processing center in the port of Long Beach, the company developed a pioneering system known as TriGen, which uses fuel cell energy powered by renewable biogas converted into hydrogen. This system is capable of producing around 2.3 megawatts of electricity daily, in addition to generating hydrogen and hot water for industrial operations. It's not a future concept, it's a functioning facility today, demonstrating how hydrogen can be integrated into real and complex energy ecosystems.